Kick off, set off, offset, offset! Hey, y'all think I don't know some stuff? Y'all think I don't know some stuff? So I stay with it. My life is over. Who's offset? They ain't got no more. They ain't got no more. They ain't got no more. What? Hey, look, my brother in law might know because he stay with it, but I'm not even gonna try. Don't raise your hand. I see some smiles and y'all know who Offset is. That was Cardi B's husband. Am I right, young people? They got divorced, right? No, they ain't got divorced. Oh, six nine nine three. We ain't gonna get anything. They're still together. All right, so, so, do, am I doing all right? Am I teaching? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just want to help you. I'm trying to help some find deliverance. I, I'm, I want our young people yeah. to be mature in Christ yeah. because when God comes back. He's coming back for a church yeah. that is mature, yeah. without spot, oh, without wrinkle. Yeah. And the goal of the church, listen, and the goal of our pastor is this, watch this, listen, to present to Jesus Christ, Tiny, at his second coming, a mature, fully developed people. Foreign to y'all. That's foreign to y'all. If you ain't screaming, you ain't happy. I told you, I'm on a mission now. I, I got to go for God. I'm 60. When I hit that, I'm like, hey. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, Lord. The goal of the church, the goal of pastor, and the goal of every church pastor should be to present as a precious Jew. Yeah. Did I hear Grandma Betty? Yeah. Where's she at? I caught that voice. Thank you, Grandma Betty. All, all the way in the back, in the bleachers. And I heard, uh-huh. That was, I love you, Grandma. I love you. Thank you for your support. So the goal of the church is to present to Jesus Christ, time restraint, at his second coming, a mature, fully developed people. And I'm up here trying to help pastor make that happen. I didn't get up here to make you shout, or I came here to deliver a relevant word. Oh, we're going to rejoice tonight and check it out. It takes both. Yeah. It takes the rejoice away and do yeah, that. I'm yeah. right there with you. I loved him last year, but it also takes the taught word. Yeah. But you want to know when you get right down to it? Nothing takes the place of this. Right. When you get right down to it, right. I'll tell you why. You keep shouting, don't read your Bible. Hey. I'll read my Bible and I won't shout. And watch it comes out better at the end. Watch you can handle it a child better. Watch you can handle Watch you can handle that situation better. But I'm gonna stay right in here. But guess what? I'm gonna shout too. Yeah. 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 And when you put them both together, then you got something. Because the preacher said, all word and no spirit, you dry up. All spirit and no word, you blow up. But when you have the word and the spirit, you grow up. Somebody you got some. All right, so Paul, I got a little more to go. I'm on a kind of time, time constraint, but I got some more. So Paul said the flesh and the spirit, they're in constant conflict with one another. Is anybody dealing with an issue to the My God, my God. Is there something that you're doing? Oh, you know, there's some people here with you. I know, and I'm trying to help them. I ain't throwing no stones. There's someone here. Praise God. You hate what you're doing. Praise God. But you can't stop doing it. Oh, oh, come on, I want to let that settle in because I'm trying yeah, to help you. Yeah, yeah. Let that settle in because I'm trying to give you help. There's some people here, you hate what you're doing, and technically God hates it too. Yeah. But look, he hates the sin, yeah. but here's the beautiful thing. He don't hate the sin. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, have yeah. mercy. Oh, but trust me, when you've been serving him a while, he expects a little something from you. Yeah. But remember, Paul, Ran of 20 something years. Yeah. The greatest yeah. apostle in the Bible. Yeah. Saying, oh, wretched, miserable soul, yeah. tortured that I am. Yeah. Why do I keep doing this behavior? Yeah. And thank God he didn't say what it was because we can all benefit. Just like yeah. his thorn in the yeah. flesh, don't yeah. say what it was yeah. so we can all benefit. Yeah. But we can draw an easier conclusion on that, but that's a whole other subject. So Paul said, when I would do good, evil is present with me. Yeah. Now look. 
Here it is. Here's another important point right here. Here's a bullet yeah. point. You can't kill your flesh man. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's bad news. What's up? Because I told you, the folk, old folk used to preach entire sanctification. You can look it up. You can't kill them. I know the Bible says mortify the flesh. Crucify the flesh. Listen to me. And we're supposed to be trying to do that. The Bible says be therefore perfect. Does anyone in here think you could be perfect in this life while your sin nature and your flesh is still in you? Sure. Does anyone think that means never sin, never mess up, never get mad at nobody? So I got some bad news for you. You can't kill them. But what you can do, Paul told us in 1 Corinthians 9, 27. This is what Paul says. See, God gave him revelation. After he cried out to God, God heard the heart cry of Paul. And so here's what he said in 1 Corinthians 9, 27. Paul said, I'm going to quote it. Y'all look up on your phone. He said, I keep my body under me and I bring it into subjection. He said, lest while I preach to others, I myself become a castaway. So let me tell you what Paul meant right there. See, you can't kill him. Now, here's one of the answers to my thought, which is the form of a question. What do you do? You got to do all you can to keep your flesh in subjection. You got to fight too sometimes. You got to fight. You got to fight. You got to fight. Look, your flesh will make you want to stay angry at somebody. And sometimes they really did you wrong. And you know what? How many are honest now? It feels good staying mad at them. It feels good letting them know that they hurt you. Yeah. It feels good not saying hello to them and walking down. Yeah. But the sad part is, it's your flesh that feels good. That's the bad part. Yeah. But the Bible says, yeah. who calls a fire? Willie, am I teaching? Am I preaching, Alfonso? Brother Gladys, am I teaching? Pastor, am I doing all right? Yeah. Am I doing all right, church? Yeah. I'm trying to help you. Follow yeah. in this. I'm trying to help you. Sorrow used to be in it, and I'm repenting God for every time. I got up in there, and up in here, and tried to figure what to say. Yeah. Gotta make people shout. We've yeah. all done it. Yeah. All preachers have done it. Yeah. I wish, rather than discovering that five years ago, my God. My heart, I didn't figure it out 20 years ago. I cried many times to the Lord about it. But now I gotta make up for yeah. lost time. Okay. How many people in here have been living for God in the past, let's say last year, two years ago, all you want, and now you're trying to make oh, up yeah. for lost time. Yeah, Let me see Lord. the hands of the people. Yeah, Lord. Uh, thank you, thank you. Let me see the hands of the people. Oh, come yeah. on, there's a word. Yeah, Lord. But let me see the hands of the people who haven't always brought God yeah. glory, haven't always done what yeah. was right. But now you're older, now you're wiser, and you're trying to make up for lost time. What do you do when you hate what you do, but you can't stop doing it? You fight the fight and keep the flesh. You keep the flesh taken in subjection. You keep the flesh, and that's not only sexual sins. Did I make that clear? Did I make that clear? Right. Okay, so here's what you do. So now you got it. You keep him in subjection. Uh -huh. That's one thing you do. You stop breathing life into the flesh man. I want you to watch. See, oh, I forgot one. You breathe life into the flesh man by some of the venues you go to. Y'all shout a little bit so I can drink. Amen. 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 You breathe life into the flesh man by some of the places at the cocks we go to. My God. Why would you go somewhere that you know, Mother Gladys, right, right. is going to incite your flesh man? Amen, Why? Amen, amen. Why would you go Why somewhere, you, you know your weakness, I don't know we all got weaknesses. Amen. See, I'm trying to put us all in. Amen. Why would you go somewhere that's going to cause your flesh man to rise up? Why? And what you end up doing by going there, I'm not saying what kind of place it is, but the things that take place there, you know, it feeds your flesh man. Yeah. You know it got nothing to do with your spirit. Yeah. You know it don't please God. So I ask you, if you really love God, 
I'm, I'm being real gentle. Man. Pastor wants me to just slam it, but I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Why would you go? So once again, I'm going to say again, examine yourself. WWJD, what would Jesus do? Oh my God, if God was here, if Jesus was next to you, would you take him some of the places you go to? Would you watch some of the things you want? Would you listen to? What would Jesus do? What would you do if Jesus was right next to you? Am I preaching all right, Clay? Am I preaching all right? So now we got stop feeding the flesh, man. We got keeping your flesh in subjection and engaging in the battle. So now watch this. One way you engage in the battle, when your flesh, when your sin nature pops up, Randolph, trying to make you do wrong, say wrong, go wrong, whatever, you tell your flesh, you're not my boss anymore. Hey! I'm not going to tell you about that serious. You tell your flesh, you're not my boss anymore. You're not my boss anymore. I was your servant. I was the servant of sin, Romans chapter 6, but you're not my boss anymore. You're not my, I don't have to listen to you no more. Now Jesus isn't my boss. Romans 6 tells me I was a slave to sin. But now, I'm a slave to righteousness. Yeah, thank you, Lord. That's a whole other subject. Because when you're a slave to righteousness, you make every effort on the cox to do right. You engage the battle. You keep that flesh in subjection. And when the flesh pops up his head, and guess what? He will. For everybody in here. Y'all think he won't? He will. And see, but if you don't do those other things, if you build the spirit more, you'll have more victory. Yeah. So when the flesh pops his ugly head up, you tell him, mm. you're not my boss anymore. Not. I'm not going there. I'm not taking this. I'm going to flush it down the toilet. Oh, don't worry. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. See, now, I tried that yeah. before I was saved. I tried that, but I didn't have the Holy Spirit. So after I flushed it and was sick in my stomach, because I didn't have my dope two days later. I wished I didn't flush it. I wish I could have went through the pipes and got it back. And I didn't have no more money to get any more. So I had to steal. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. And thank God. Randolph. God was so good. One thing I never done. And I found myself doing. Right after that I ended up in Virginia. Because I would have got it. I did a I did a nighttime B and E. Oh my God! I never done that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I go through this window that happened to be open on top of a roof, right around the corner from my house. That was stupid. And I walked in the bedroom. It was an Orthodox Jewish family. There was a part of my neighbor that was Orthodox and sitting, and they were sleeping. I know when they woke up. And just saw their TV or whatever box gone and no harm to them. I know they thanked Yeshua or whoever it was, but they gave God some prayer. Look at this. I walk out the front door. Now, mind you, one block to the left where I hung out. It's an open air market. I know where the guys are sitting in the hallway with the heron and the coke all night long. Here I am walking. I went down the steps. I didn't go out the window because I couldn't get down the room. TV was like this. You know them big, old, them big square ones? And I walk out the front door, the police were always, I wasn't even thinking. I'm walking like this, bro, <laughs> trying to get you called to my boy. It's about 2 in the morning. Showed it to him. Got a double band right after that. You know, God, so I was about to get killed or go to Rikers Island. And Rikers Island ain't no place to play. Right after that, Joanna, God brought me to Virginia. So I got a testimony. Yes! I got a testimony. I said, I got a testimony. And you know, that's one thing I never did. And just like Paul, I was so sick of myself. Yeah. Yeah. I was so sick. I said, I've never done nothing like that in my life. Yeah. And I know that family. I walked in the bedroom. I saw them sleep. It's a true story. I went back, disconnected that fat old Magnavox TV, opened their front door, walking down the step. Police always stood by this drug corner, which was a block and a half away, walking like this. To get a couple of bags of heroin, they didn't give me but so much. And that was an old ex, but whatever it was, it was old. 
But right after that church, God brought me here. Yes. Yes. Thank God. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. I'm trying to help you, young people. Watch them drugs, they'll catch you. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, I graduated top 10 percentile in high school. I was most popular best dressed in high school. I had I mean I was just a nice person all in all. Had great parents. But the devil got hold of me. Yes. yes. And I kept doing yes. what I hated what I was doing. Yes. But I couldn't yes. stop. Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. So I can rely on the Holy Spirit. Yes. See, that's the thing. God gave us something to work with. Yes. And so the Spirit is at war against our sin nature. Yes. And our sin nature is at war against the flesh. Yes. But Paul said in Galatians, walk yes. in the Spirit. Yes. Have you ever found yourself in that posture? I need to hear from you one more time. Yes. Have you ever yes. been in that posture right there? Oh, yes. let me move quick. Let me move quick. Let me move quick. Here I am. I'm closing now. I'm closing. Give me eight more minutes. So you tell your flesh man, you're not my boss no more. Tell him Romans 6 says you've been set free. Yeah. Tell him you're no longer a slave to sin. When your flesh pops up, tell him now I'm a slave to righteousness. Tell him you were my yeah. master, but now I've changed masters. I got a new walk. I got a new talk. Yeah. I'm trying to please God, but I'm trying to make it in. So when my flesh finally comes Too far yeah. to go back. Yeah. Can identify with what I'm saying. Yeah. Can you hear? Yeah. God.